Hi, my name is David Summerflack. I'm a digital marketing specialist online at www.dms.blue. I have about 20 years experience in digital marketing for multiple marketing and advertising agencies and publishers throughout North America. And I also was a volunteer uh, business mentor for several nonprofit organizations for about 10 years as well. So in this video, I want to talk about five digital marketing facts that every business owner should be aware of. They're kind of a big deal. Okay. Number one, it is a process, not a single item. So on a daily basis, you know, I get emails and phone calls or I meet people at events or conferences who basically say, Hey, Dave, that sounds great. How much is a website? How much is SEO? And Sometimes I reply with, you know, you're not buying a cheeseburger. You're basically initiating a process that takes time. You're not buying a single item. So there's no single set price. I can't say it's $200, right? Because you're starting a service that's going to build over time and then it's going to have tremendous value. It's going to make your phone ring. It's going to make you get emails from people who want to work with you. And I'm going to set all of that up with multiple parts, depending on what you got going on. And it's going to keep going indefinitely as long as you renew it and keep things going. So there's no single set price. Now, yes, you can go to some of these things and buy a website for $10 or whatever, but you're getting basically an empty template. It's not going to make your phone ring. It's not going to make people call you and want to do business with you. So number one, the number one most important digital marketing fact that every business owner should know is it's a process. It's not a single item. So you've got to look at it as a process. Typically, results take about 90 days before you're going to start to see that needle move. Okay, number two, digital marketing should be used to solve business problems and build regularly recurring revenue. So again, an empty DIY template, while it might be okay for a hobbyist or somebody who's just kind of having fun with an idea or something, that ain't going to do it. You need digital marketing, which is basically putting together all these different pieces of the puzzle together. So the website is the whole through which SEO, how you outrank competitors, through which SEO, social media, content, good design, everything goes through that whole, that whole um, hub. So number one is it's a process, not an item. Number two, digital marketing should be used to solve business problems and build revenue. And this leads us to number three, you want to invest for return on investment ROI, just as you would for other forms of offline media. So an example of this would be to put an ad in a local newspaper is going to cost you several thousand dollars. A local newspaper advertising department is not going to talk to you unless you're ready to pony up three or four thousand dollars and run an ad for several weeks or longer because that's what it takes to start getting results. Nobody's going to call you if they just see your advertisement one time. Typically, they need to see it multiple times before it's going to resonate with them and they'll go, OK, let me call this person and see what they're about. So the same is true for digital marketing. You're not going to really start moving the needle for your business until you invest several thousand dollars to work with a professional who knows what they're doing, is going to care and really put them some thought and effort into working with you because they want to achieve a website that's going to rank higher than your competitors in Google, that is going to um, have some branding and look professional, and that's going to represent you in a very serious, committed, adult way. And this leads us to step number four, or fact number four, I should say. The more organized and focused your efforts are, the more results you're going to achieve. So again, if you work with some neighborhood hobbyist through an ad on Craigslist or something on Fiverr or what have you, hey, they might be really nice people. But the odds of you creating something dynamic 
that's going to produce results for you, that's going to make your phone ring, that's going to make people want to email you and work with you on a day in and day out basis. The odds of that happening for less than a few grand are very, very slim. So the more organized and deliberate you are working with a professional is going to require that you work from a very organized, structured marketing plan. The odds of that happening without an organized plan are very slim to none. So you really want to work with someone who cares enough to say, I need to know what your business goals and objectives are. I need to know if you have a property you're trying to sell, if you if you want to take payments online for services, if you're trying to take more orders, if you have a restaurant, if you have a consultancy or private practice. What you have and what you're trying to accomplish varies from business to business. So it requires an organized, deliberate plan that you want to work from. And this leads us to step, or I should say fact number five. DIY doesn't work if you want to move that needle because there's frankly too many moving parts. You have SEO, which is outranking competitors online. You have writing, engaging content. You have video marketing such as this one you have basically repurposing that content through different social media platforms so an example would be me writing a blog post about five digital marketing facts that every business owner should know then taking that blog post and repurposing it as a video ta-da like this one it could also be making a short version of this video then a longer version of the video then doing a five different videos where I talk about each of the bit different digital marketing facts every business owner should know and going more in depth one by one by one. So I would do a separate video for each different fact. So it's basically repurposing the content into different media formats and then distributing it to each different social media platform. So making the most of what I'm producing for each different social media platform, doing a, a blog post, doing a series of blog posts, doing a video, then a series of videos, doing a podcast, then a series of podcasts, then maybe writing an ebook on this as well. So you're basically taking this one thing and repurposing it multiple times for all the different social media platforms out there. DIY doesn't work because it doesn't give you the ability to repurpose content. It doesn't give you a structured marketing plan that we discussed in ingredient number four. It doesn't invest for ROI because it's free. Hey, it's free, you get out what you put in. It's gonna be an empty generic template. And um, it doesn't solve business problems, ingredient number two. It's not going to build you revenue because it doesn't have all these different pieces working in unison. And to go back to step or ingredient number one, it's a single item. It's not a process. So DIY doesn't work if you want to move the needle because there's too many different parts and too many different components to what makes up digital marketing. So I hope that my list makes sense to my wonderful precious viewers out there to learn more about digital marketing or to get more concrete information as well, please visit me online at www.dms.blue. You can visit me on Twitter at dmsblue01 and check me out on all the other social media platforms that I frequent. So thank you for watching and be safe out there.